My dear friend Mike Reed is here and he's going to cook a delicious cod dish for me. Not any type of cod, this is quite special, isn't this it? This is the king of cods, black cod, which is a true, true treat. Mm. I like to treat you when I come to your kitchen. Oh, just... I feel so special. <laughs> <laughs> and we can see it's distinct skin. Yeah, okay. like it's got a beautiful skin mm. and the flesh is just so light, yes. so flaky, yet meaty. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's just the perfect fish for this dish. Made famous by Nobu like back in the day. This right. is one of their signature dishes, which yeah. I've given my own take to over the last, I don't know, 10 years oh, or so. I know the one you're talking about and I can't wait yeah. to try it. It's pretty yeah. delicious. Yep. So I'm going to start off by making the marinade for it, OK? okay. And we're going to go into a hot pan mm -hmm. with some sake mm -hmm. and some mirin. Mm -hmm. I love I love the smell of mm. both sake and mirin. You know, it's such a beautiful fragrance. Absolutely. Some caster sugar. <laughs> and some miso. And the miso is not any type of miso? No, you can just use the run-in-the-mill golden miso. Yeah, white this. miso. White miso. You don't want um, a dark miso, like a red miso, because no. it'll be too intense for the fish here. Way too concentrated. Yeah. And then we're just going to bring it to the boil mm -hmm. and then take it off and chill it. That's okay. it. You've got one chilled for me already because we want to obviously have the marinade nice and cool. Yes, okay? okay. Hot fish or cold fish, cold marinade. Easy. You can see that's boiling away already. So that's it's super quick. Yep, okay? great. And then we're just going to get the fish skin as well. Sure. Into this beautiful marinade. Okay, I'll do the next one. In it goes. You know, just make sure it's nicely coated. Mm -hmm. And then we can put it, pop it straight in the fridge for about two hours. Okay and then we come back and cook it up. Could you do it overnight? Absolutely, you can do it overnight. You can't marinate it for too long. I'd say maximum 24 hours. Okay. Marinated. Mm. You can see the difference in it straight away. You can see how that marinade sticks yeah. more to the fish. It's glossy, mm. it's shiny. I'm just gonna use a little bit of oil in this pan. It's a hot pan. Hot pan. Yeah. So the trick, the trick is cook it flesh side down. Always with chefs, we always cook skin side down. Yeah. Okay, yeah. because you want a crispy skin and blah, blah, blah. The skin <laughs> is, is, is irrelevant in this dish, okay? We're actually going to take the skin off right. afterwards. But I leave the skin on now because mm. it helps to keep it together because it is such a flaky fish. All right, now we can pop that straight into a hot pan. Okay. Sizzle, sizzle. Sizzle, sizzle. And don't be scared, because obviously there's a lot of sugar in this mayonnaise. Yeah. So it's going to burn right. and it's going to go black. It's good, OK? When we turn it over, yeah. I'm going to add a little bit more sauce into the pan before we pop it into the oven. Yep. And then literally high heat in your oven, 220, mm -hmm. for about six minutes, maybe eight, mm -hmm. but check it definitely after six. OK. So while this is cooking down now, yep. if you can start preparing the veggies, we're going to do it with some greens. You always tell me when I'm on your show I don't do enough greens. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got some greens for us today. Okay. So we've got some beautiful bok choy and pok choy, which yep. we're just going to do with some ginger and garlic. Keep it really simple. And how did you want me to prep these? Some of the stalks just do really nice, like, chunks. Chunks? OK, and then the leaves, leave them whole. OK. OK. Yeah, because they're going to cook at separate times, Exactly. Aren't they? We'll add the leaves in towards the end. We'll start off the stalk, but I love that stem. OK. Yeah. Oh! And that's what you were talking about. Exactly. That blackness is what we want. That yeah. blackness is what you want. Mm. And then we're just going to coat it in even more of this marinade and then pop it into the oven. And as it cooks, all of that stickiness will stay in the cod. All right. OK. Right. So I'm going to get the ginger and the garlic chopped. Mm -hmm. uh, good job, Jeff. So smaller chunks. <laughs> and oh, you could serve this with some rice. You could yeah. serve with all veggies, but a little stir-fry greens. Stir-fry greens. Lovely. Nice and light, really fresh. Because obviously it's, it's quite a it's quite a rich sauce. That's right. So this just keeps it really nice, light and fragrant. Also, because you've only got a few minutes in the oven with the fish, Absolutely. you want to stir-fry something quite quickly. Absolutely. Okay. So a little veg. Right. So hot pan again. Mm -hmm. And that's another oh. thing. You want to make sure you cut your veggies the right size so they do cook quickly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You've only got six minutes in the oven. That's right. <laughs> so ginger and garlic is going straight in now. OK. And this will take a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. So that can go straight in as well. 
I'm going to get a little bit, just a little bit of salt in there. Yep. Not too much, yep. because obviously we're going to finish it with some light soy and some dark soy. So that will give it a bit of a salty kick as well. But I love the actual taste of real salt on your palate. Mm. I think I find it just stimulates those taste buds even more. Jeez, you describe things well. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we can chuck the leaves in now as okay. well. And we've left them nice and big because they'll cook down. And we're going to use a little bit of water at this stage just to help generate a bit of steam sure. and cook those leaves. Okay. And then we're just going to finish that off with a touch of soy sauce, both dark and light. I love the combination of the two. I reckon our cod will be ready now as well. If you want to grab it out of the oven for me, please. Wow. Oh, look at That's that. Good. All right, I'm just going to go with these greens straight down on the sure. plate first. Mm, it smells great with that ginger and the garlic through there. Fresh, mm. fragrant. And you see how quickly the, the leaves cook down, which yeah. is why you just put them in towards the end. And you get a nice texture from all of the stalks. Look at that. And peel back the right. skin. And you can see just how soft and flaky. It's mm. almost falling apart. That's right. That's what you want. <laughs> mm. Full flavour, sticky, light. You're right. It is a really unique fish, the texture of it. Yeah. Like you said, flaky, but it's almost sweet. Yeah. And the miso just brings it all together. It. I love it's, that fish. It's an army explosion on yeah. your palate, this dish. You know, it really does take you so many different places. Mm. It's incredible. Yeah, it's incredible. I love it. And the best thing about it is it takes no time at all to prepare. Apart from the marinating, marinating, get that out of the way. Very simple cooking, very delicious cooking. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.